this is the better one of the two. This was the second one I did. You can still see some little pinholes and bumps, but they're not gonna make any difference to the use. And I'm getting to the point now where we just need these pods on and we need to get going because this is holding up the rest of the build now. We can't do anything more until these are in. I've just wet and dried this one. This is the one, it, it was light down here anyway and it had a slight, I must have, there must have still been water on it. Oh, that's all I can think of. It had a slight reaction. So I've rubbed it all back. It's all nice and flat again now um, in this corner. And I'm gonna get this in now into my uh, makeshift spray room. And I'm gonna spray men. As I say, that one's wet and dry. I'm gonna give it a good clean now and make sure there's nothing on there that can react with the paint. Once I've got a couple of coats of black on, I'm gonna leave it 25, 30 minutes, and I'm gonna go straight on to clear and try and clear coat it tonight, build up some coats of clear tonight. Got the trigger on. What a difference it makes. Man, it's misty in there. I've got my mask off and I'm just having a brew, but those cans, those small cans they've sent me, they did nothing but drip. Just drip all down the front of themselves. And then the drips would blow onto the work and it it's not. I mean, Christ, it's, you can see there, it's just dripped all down the front. I think I've used four cans there. It's 22. It's 5 to 11 and it's not gone well out there tonight. Um, I've been chasing my own tail. Those cans that they've sent me are smaller and they've got a different nozzle on and it just keeps filling up under the nozzle and spattering and I get going and I wipe it and I get going and I wipe it and then I forget and it spatters and then I've tried to rub it back uh, before it's fully cured, which is never a good thing. Um, so I've used most of the spray on that one. Luckily, this one is still pretty much ready. It's late. I've not been filming. I've just been getting on with it. First coat of lacquer's on there. I'm just gonna spray this now. And then get a coat on here. I'm just going to keep going because I want them done. I'll fill them for a little. It's caught to midnight and I am sounding a bit like Bane now of the Batman movies. Only my inner Tom Hardy. <sighs> Breathing like Darth Vader. Anyway, let's point you through the window. Whew, take that off a minute. You can see it's a bit misty in there. They've both got lacquer on. That back one's had three coats now. This front one's just on its first coat. It's not gonna be perfect. 
in fact it's far from it that back one I, I, I lost it with that when it kept spurting out of the spray I used most of the spray trying to keep and fix that one it's got some marks in it I may sand them out one day but right now it needs to go on the van it's close to midnight the dust has settled a bit that one's had three coats as I said this one's just on its first so I'm gonna give it another now it's looking like it's ready just replied to Tim yes I am spraying at midnight Tim I wish I wasn't I wish I was in bed but I've started it so now I've got to finish it and I want them on the van so That's two coats on that one. Another 10, 15 minutes and I'll give it another coat. That one's had three and a bit more on the back, so that's looking good. Back in, I've given it 15, 20 minutes, so I'm gonna give this one down here now a third and final coat and then I'll be able to go and get a shower. This one's looking really nice. I don't wanna to touch it yet. Dirty fingers. But yes, it's looking nice and it's feeling good, but I'm going to leave them overnight to dry off. Put you back up here, eh? Seems like a hell of a night. Three coats on both. I'm going to shut up shop for tonight. I'm not going to heavy polish them. I'm just going to give them a uh, a hand rubbing compound because I don't want them to be too shiny. Right, time to unplug. Time for a shower. And we'll have a look in the morning. The morning after the night before. Uh, they've come out really well to be fair. This back bit, yeah, I can see the scratches that I put in when I tried to sand too soon last night. I'd given it 15, 20 minutes and I did build it back up again, but the lack has covered it. Maybe one day I'll take it back and spray them again, but not today. And I can see the mark where stupidly I tried to pull that little hair out that had fallen and that drew across the paint and left a mark. But the lac has gone on nicely and they look really good and they're ready to go on the van. Well, I'll probably think tomorrow they'll be ready to go on the van. They need a uh, another day of baking, really, letting that uh, lacquer cure off. But it's coated really nicely. I'm quite happy with how it's turned out and they'll be able to go on. Shell had a lucky escape. Me Dexter room is back to normal now. Had a bit of a tidy up, nearly chopped me toe off, and I've got a box full of empty rattle cans. That was a, uh, it doesn't quite cover the two meters squared a liter, I would suggest. Or maybe it does, but you, since you're only getting 40 mil probably of usable spray in there with all the aerosols, then you need a lot of spray. Definitely the gun's better, and if I was gonna do it again, I probably would buy the paint and just use my own gun. I may even invest in a new gun, but the only problem is my Frankenstein compressor, because the motor went on the uh, the old compressor, so I took it off and then strapped my mini compressor to it, which then charges all the tanks. So there's the main tank and the, uh, the smaller tank, 
um, but it's still not enough. You need you need a big cylinder, but I know a man with a big cylinder if I uh, if I ever need one. So I might be asking. That's if he's still got it. I might be asking for when I spray the van. But yeah, I'm just having a bit of a tidy up now. I'm wiping down, and that's this morning. Maximus has decided he wants to play football, so he's got himself a football, or we got him a football. Wow, that was a great kick. It's really nice because it's the first time as a dad anyone said, let's play football to me. Roman was into his rugby. And that's what he wants to do. He never really wanted to kick a ball with me. Go on, give us a pass. 